in this session we are going to be doing this worksheet which is basically on coding and decoding for class kg students just the first page as you can see on the top we have the heading that's why coding and decoding so let's start with the codes and decodes first is you see we have a table with a d e f h i l m n o r s t u w y and against this coding or against this letter we have some particular diagrams of dots or some particular patterns of dots as you can see over here now we have to match these are the questions we have to match or we have to recognize this which pattern is matching with this or this or this or this and whatever the letter is there for this pattern in here we have to write that letter in this blank boxes or dashes below the dots so that's the first question so let us do first is you see these three dots so if you very carefully see these three dots you see in s we have these three dots 1 2 3 1 2 3 so this will be s similarly this dot this pattern of dot if you can see it is in t next single dot is a and finally this dot 1 2 3 and this one so 1 2 3 and this one this is r so the first letter we got out of coding or decoding is star so this is basically decoding why decoding because we have a pattern and by decoding that pattern we have got the actual meaning or actual word similarly here this three dot is h this one is e this one this one is let me see l again same l and this one this one is okay o so the word from by decoding this pattern is hello now this page or this part of the question is complete now we will go to the next part secret code so you see we have some letters and on top of that letters we have some dots now this two or three or whatever the numbers we have over here is basically the number of dots so we have to see which the count of dot matches with the number and write the letters for example for two see d has two dots so this will be d similarly three is e one is c rest of the two four five please do it yourself now we will go to the one below this is also similar against this numbers we have some letters and this number should match the count of the dots on top of that letters if the count matches we will write that letter for example 10 we have to see which of these is 10 so i am guessing or taking the largest one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this will be q similarly for 8 i am guessing this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this will be o one more i will do and the rest two you have to do so i will be doing 7 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this is n please complete the other two which i have left here 9 and 6 and for this 4 4 and 5 to practice now this page is complete we will go and see what is there in the next page so this is the next page and as, as you can see we have the 26 letters of english alphabet from a to z and against each of these letters we have some diagram so basically this is also decoding because these are the two questions first question second question as you can see we did it in the previous page we have the diagram and from the diagram we have to using this chart or using this map we have to find out what this particular diagram or this particular diagram will be decoded to and write the decoded letters over here in the blank and that will form a meaningful word so let us start first one 
you see this symbol is C, this is A, this box is M, this is E, and this symbol is L. So this is a camel. By decoding these diagrams, we form the word camel. Similarly, for the next one, this one is P, this one is L, this one is again A, this one is T, and this one is E. So plate. So in this way, we completed this alphabet decoding also. Now we will go to the next page. So this is the next exercise and this exercise is known as code break. As you can see we have named it over here. On top we have some colors and we have some arrows. The arrows has also been colored for you to understand easily. And this is the exercise. What this exercise is? Basically you have you see these, color, uh, these arrows are over here and what we have to do is we have to use some kind of colors to mark this arrow as it is matched or as it is over here. For example, this one is pink. So we will use some pink color thing to paste over here. So we are using molding dough for us. If you do not have molding dough, you can use floor, color the floor and use it. Or you can use also use cotton and stick it. Color the cotton and stick it. That will also do. Okay. So let us first begin. So first one is, as you can see, this arrow and this arrow is matching. So this is pink. So I'm going to paste pink over here like this just to mark it okay you don't have to draw anything next is right arrow which is red so red just for marking then we have this arrow this is the downward arrow which is blue so mark it with a blue dough next we have this semicircle type which is brown we do not have brown so we are using orange instead Next we have this right arrow again which is red, so red, sorry, it's, then we have the green because this is an upward arrow and this is also upward arrow, so green. Next is again downward arrow which is blue, so blue. Next we have a tilted left arrow like this which is marked with pink, so this is for pink. Then we have a left arrow which is yellow. So yellow then we have a right arrow which is red so red next again we have a right arrow and in this way I think we have covered all the different colors and the arrows we have another four rows one two three four four rows of such arrows please use them while practicing I will not be covering those because all those are same just you have to follow the video in case you are not able to figure it out which color the arrow should be and paste the color or the paste the color colored thing over the arrow in this way you will be able to complete this exercise now this is complete we will go and see which is what is the next exercise is so this is the next page as you can see the label is pattern matching so we are going to practice two types of pattern matching over here one is this and another is this one so first on the left hand side we have some patterns as you can see it has been marked 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and on top we have shown the series in which the patterns have been kept for example you see we have a single line then we have a cross line and then we have a horizontal line now this one is light green this one is deep green and this one is white similarly over here we have a horizontal line which is deep green then we have a vertical line which is light green and then we have a cross line which is again deep green here we have the cross which is white in here we have this horizontal line which has been marked light green so this one should be basically the single line which is missing and the color of it should be because white and light green is already there it should be this color okay so basically picture 8 if you can see we need a vertical line first of all and then we need this this color so this color is matching with this so this will be 8 um, so I am going to put a check on that 8 so 
when you you can do coloring also but in here i am just going to put a check or mark which one is going to fit in this particular question mark next question is you see we have this diamond and then we have this figure in which we have this diamond and then we have a square in which we have this diamond on the second row we have this plus inside the figure we have this plus and then inside the square we have this plus on the third row we have a circle inside this figure we have the circle inside this square we will have the circle and the color also following the same series now the patterns are over here which one we should fix as we know this should be a square with orange color meaning this one or this one or this one but we we know it will be a circle in the middle meaning not this one or this one only this one is matching so this is the right answer i am going to put a check on it now we will go to the next worksheet so this is the last page of today's session of pattern and coding decoding this is also a coding decoding you see we have some uh, we have a table with some numbers row wise and column wise and for the rows we have some uh, letters and on the columns also we, we have some letters so basically what we are going to do is for row and column we have to match and figure out the number for example for the first sum say m m so capital m small m so this is capital m this is small m and the number on where both of this is matching is 1 from the row first we have to take first letter is represented in the row second letter represents the column so capital m small m intersection is 1 so capital m small m is 1 next we have the plus symbol so plus capital m row p column so capital m row means this row p column is 5 this is p so 1 plus 5 addition is 6 similarly p o so row wise p this is row p and small m so sorry small o small o is 6 so p and o this is 6 so 6 then again plus sign capital q capital q is this row and small r small r is this column so capital q meets small r here so 3 so 6 plus 3 is 9 rest of the two i am leaving for you to practice at your home i have already shown how this is done in higher classes the same thing is known as matrix but for you it is a plain and simple table with that we close this session we have come to the end of this session because this was the last worksheet for us again parents i would like to request you please subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon to get the latest updates otherwise you will miss out on these interesting worksheets with that i take my leave for today we will catch up again tomorrow with another interesting worksheet have a good day goodbye